Okay. Any questions for Giannis? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, please. Please. I gotta oh, sit my shoe here. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stephanie. Yana Stephanie Sutton from WICN TV here in Milwaukee. With such a short off season, how ready do you feel for you and the Bucks to have a repeat run? Um, you know, we're here now. Um, obviously, we gotta we gotta get better, uh, but we're gonna take it day by day. Um, you know, whatever happened in the past is in the past. We gotta focus on now. How can we get better right now? How can we get ourselves in the level that we can compete? Um, but yeah, me, me personally, I'm just, I'm out of shape. I gotta get my, I gotta get my uh, butt in shape. Eric, name the athletic analyst. Do you have a joke? But Buck's no. social media kind of tease that you might have a joke. No, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't have a joke. Because um, the uh, the last, uh, the, not the last, the previous years before that, I had the joke, right? And the season did not end up well. Last year, I didn't say a joke. I won the championship. So what do you think I should do? That, that's your call. I didn't know you were superstitious. No joke. Okay. No joke. Uh, the other, I, I don't know when you did this interview with Greek TV, and obviously I'm only going off a translation from Greece. Um, but in an interview, you said that your knee is still hurting. Um, I'm curious for you going into this season, just kind of where's your knee at? Is this a, a situation that has to be managed, or, or kind of how does that feel right now? Um... I, I I feel good. Obviously, I gotta, you know, do my treatment like always. Um, take care of my body, uh, and just manage it. You know, um, there's no I don't think that there's no rush for me here. Um, I'm good to go. But if I feel you know if I feel pain again or whatever the case might be, I have to you know listen to my body. You know, when you feel pain, it's your body telling you that it's protecting you. You know, you can't go, you can't go no more. So, so I've played through pain. Um, and I, you know, um, I don't think now is the time to you know risk that. It's too 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 early in the, in the season. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel I feel good physically, mentally. I'm doing whatever whatever I have to do uh, to. Uh, be hundred percent. So that's that's pretty much it. That's all I can do. Will you go five on five tomorrow? I go five on five today if uh, if I have to, you know. Um, but yeah, like I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow, you know. Uh, if my body, if I wake up and my body feels good, and after you know I leave this um, this uh, media day and uh, I go back to the gym and I. You know, my body still feels good. I'm able to, you know, work out. Yeah, I, I'll go 5-on-5. Five five, but um, we'll see. We'll see how I wake up tomorrow and uh, we'll see how my body feels. Lily Zell from Fox 6 Milwaukee. Giannis, how long did you have uh, Larry with you this summer? And what was it like bringing the trophy to Greece? Oh, okay. Um, they, they, took, they took the trophy from me. You know, I was very... I was very uh, disappointed when they did that, um, hurt. Uh, but, you know, obviously after the game six, I was able to, you know, uh, go back to my house with it. Um, wasn't able to sleep, but I was able to lay down, uh, you know, in the uh, on the bed uh, with it and, you know, and, and enjoy some moment with the trophy. But um, after that, as you guys saw, I took it to a fast food restaurant, uh, got myself some, uh, some nuggets. Um, and after that, I had to bring it back for the parade. And then they took the trophy for me, but then I took it back. So when I went to Greece, I told them, I said, guys, I have to take the trophy to Greece. They gave it to me. I was able to show it to my friends, um, take it to the Parthenon, up to Acropolis, uh, take it to my neighborhood. You know, my friends and my family enjoyed uh, the time with that, with the, you know, taking pictures with the trophy. So yeah, I had it for, uh, had it for a couple of days, but then they took it away from me. And the trophy's right there back, but I don't want it no more. That's in the past. It's over with. <laughs> hey, Giannis, right here in front. Oh. Um, how, for your, your off-season plan, I mean, you, you, you're traveling. I'm sure there was maybe a little rest for your legs. Become a father again. Congratulations. Um, how did you try to put your, your plan of getting better at basketball in place? Like, is it, you, just, you know what I mean? Like, how did you try to manage that and then I guess were you as successful as you would have liked to have been as you look back at it uh you know obviously 
I would like to have a full off season uh, to be able to work on my game even more and improve stuff throughout the off season like I've done in the past. But uh, you know, sometimes having a short off season that means you did uh, you did well. You know, uh, but yeah, it was, it was tough. It was tough. Um, you know, being a father, you know, having a lot of uh, commitments that you have to do in a very short off season. You know, enjoy some time with the team uh, and my family out in Greece. Uh, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be in this position if I didn't, didn't play basketball. You know, and if I, um, you know, didn't do what I do, if I wasn't good at it. So, you know. Whatever time I had, whatever time I, I could during the day, you know, I was, you know, focused on my craft, uh, on how I could get better. Uh, obviously, you know, dealing with um, the after effect, aftermath, whatever it's called, from the, you know, my, my injury and all that. But, uh, you know, I, I love the game of basketball and uh, I try to spend as much time as I, as I could because if I, <laughs> I didn't play basketball, I wouldn't be in this position right now. Delaney, TMJ4, Milwaukee. Giannis, you've always been that American dream. You know, that kid who came to America, su yeah, successful in the NBA. You, you've always been that. And Bobby and Chris talked about getting to take the Larry O'Brien Trophy back to their hometowns and show kids that they can do this and, and they can be great and they can get to the NBA. Now that you're an NBA champion, I'm curious, do you feel that weight off your shoulder because now you've reached the pinnacle, or do you feel like no, it's time to show that I can do it again? No, I, I, I don't. I, personally, you know, obviously, I, you have to always figure out what kind of person you are. Let's start with that, right? Uh, and be okay with what kind of person you are. Uh, and what what I've realized, I realized this year, I'm a, I'm a people's people's pleaser. I like to, you know, please, you know, my coach and the coaches staff, my family and all, you know, all the fans and all that. But um, you got to be able to, you know, do it for yourself, you know, figure out what you what you want. Uh, and right now what I want is to get better. I don't care about trophies. I don't care about MVPs. I don't care about um, defense player of the years. I don't care about all, all, all that things. I don't care. I care about getting better because I know that if I do that, there's more things coming. With that, and and, and I, that's what I've done my whole career, and that's how I am in this position, right? So, so uh, there's no weight off my shoulder. I feel the same weight. Um, the weight was always get better. Uh, I enjoy obviously that we're champions, uh, but the weight is the same. Get but then hopefully a lot of you know a lot of kids you know around the world and from my neighborhood, from Chris neighborhood, from Bobby neighborhood. Um, but I can see if you have the mindset of like improving every day. That's all. You might you might get yourself to a level that you never thought you're gonna be. So yeah. Just wondering if you have been vaccinated and if so, and, and just what your opinions are on the league's policies regarding how they're handling vaccinated, unvaccinated. Um, I haven't been following a lot of uh, social media and you know the news and out. But from what I've heard. You know, from the locker room. For for me, is I did was what was best for me and my family to stay. You know, stay protected. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm vaccinated. You know, but uh, in my opinion, you can never you know you can never force anybody to do something that they don't want to do. You know, you, you know. But uh, for me, you know, I put everything down, and I uh, thought it was the best decision for me to be safe. You know, I have, I have kids, um, and you know, like. Who, who knows? Who knows how this vaccine going to affect you down, down the road? I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But uh, I know right now that it's going to keep my, my family safe. But, so I don't really care about the, you know, the, the rest. But you do whatever it takes for, for you and your family to be okay, whatever makes you comfortable. Uh, shifting back to the court, you guys, uh, I think your first hug after winning a championship was with P.J. Tucker. Um, I'm curious for you, just how do you guys go about replacing P.J. this season? Uh, P.J. brought a lot to the team. Um, toughness, you know. Leadership was a bet. But at the end of the day, I think, uh, obviously, we're going to miss, you know, to give him credit we're gonna miss him he was a big part of uh, who who we were and uh 
in this championship run. But at the end of the day, we have we have guys um, that they they ready to step up. Uh, we have uh, we have Semi Ozule, we have uh, Tenacious, uh, we have uh, Grayson Allen, Rodney Hood, all of these guys, uh, and th they're not PJ, you know, uh, they're themselves. Uh, but we we need somebody that's going to bring that toughness. Uh, and I think we have uh, we have great guys. We have great guys that have talent that can can do that for us. Did I give PJ my uh, my first hug after the? Uh, oh, oh hell no! Nah. Mm. <laughs> you know I love him, but I don't love him that much. <laughs> you know he was in the the heat of the moment. You know and. Um, I don't know, he's probably watching. PJ, I'm the new shoe king in Milwaukee now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, it's it's a uh, great guy. I wish him nothing but the best. Uh, yeah, before I ask you about basketball, I'm just going to ask, what did you say to your employees at, at the Brewers this week uh, to get them to snap out of the uh, the losing streak? I haven't, I, haven't, uh, I haven't talked to them. Okay. I haven't. Didn't know if you like. You know, give him a little pep talk before. I'll fight everybody. Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I have enough to go uh, catch a game. Hopefully, I can catch a game before the season starts. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've been uh, before winning much because I've been working out, trying to get uh, back healthy and traveling a lot. But yeah, hopefully, I can go catch a game. And if I think see things that they're not going well, I'll say I'll fight everybody. No, <laughs> I don't think I have that power. But uh, no, I'm just having fun. I'm having fun, and I uh, hope. They can have fun, too, doing what they love to do. Uh, back to basketball. I asked the guys earlier, before you guys became a championship-level team, when you were just getting started for your career, what did it do for you to go out there on the floor to play against a defending championship team? Because you're going to know guys are going to be coming for you all season. Yeah, you kind of you, you have to, like, you know, switch, you know, the, the script. You know, we, we all understand that. Uh, it's gonna be teams gonna be coming for us, um, but like we have to have that you know that hunting mentality ourselves, you know, because are we satisfied? I'm not satisfied. Um, I'm not even close to being satisfied, you know. And that's the the tone we gotta set as a team, you know. And as a leader of this team, that's the tone I'm gonna set. Uh, you know, we understand that you know teams are coming for us. But we, we, we're going to be ready, you know. Hopefully we can be ready, you know, um, and build good habits, good winning habits, and play together and compete. And, you know, come for them too. You know, it goes both ways. Uh, but as I said, always, that's that's the mentality they have. Yeah, i got to switch the script. And wouldn't, you know, one thing. I feel like, I feel like the, the greatest players to ever play this game, they're like... And the greatest athletes in the world, they're like kind of like con con artist. Have you like? But what I, what I mean by that is that like have you guys heard the story about Shaq? That Shaq said that David Robinson never gave him an autograph or took a picture with him, and he went out there and tried to like you know um, dominate him, you know, play against him really hard. But and then you have the story about uh, Michael Jordan, you know, that did the same thing. Like, what does that tell you? That tells you that. These guys have to kind of flip the script in their head in order for them to do what they do, in order for them not to be satisfied. So we gotta we gotta do the same thing. For me, it's it's easy. I'm not I'm not satisfied. But for the, as in team two, we we gotta go out there and think. We know it was the 2021 NBA champ, but right now we we just in walk box again that nobody believes in us and um, and nobody believes that we can do it again. So so. But it takes steps to it. Step by step, step by step, we're going to work hard and hopefully we can, uh, you know, achieve it again. We get to play with uh, achieving our shoulders again. Hey, Giannis, what do you really relish about just being the leader of a team, knowing that you're entering a season where that leadership is going to be super important if you guys want to repeat? And also just on the uh, Brewers front as well. Um, what is it like seeing them have success when you guys have started it with the title run with you guys and then the Brewers are having the success that they've have been having? Uh, I'm just going to try to be me. Try to be me as much as possible. Um, and just try to have fun. And I think once I start doing that, you know, the leadership is going to come, you know, uh, playing hard and all that, leading by example and talk to my teams, all that's going to come because I'm going to enjoy what I'm, what I'm doing. And I'm, uh, I'm happy for the Brewers too. 
Half of the brewers, uh, not have that they're doing well. Jamal? What's up, man? Jamal Collier from ESPN. Um, I want to ask you, coming off the championship, did, you know, kind of outside of Milwaukee, do you feel like you've gotten some of the respect that you deserve kind of coming off this championship, or is that, is that something you've, you've thought about at all? No, I, I, ha I haven't. I, mean, I really don't, uh, you know, care, care, care about that. As, as much for me, you know, for maybe for other players, they you know they care about you know the respect of others. You know, I don't. Uh, I just, I just uh, enjoy what I'm doing, you know. And I'm going to keep saying this throughout the whole. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if you're going to be with us, but I'm going to say it throughout the year. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Just keep enjoying what I'm doing. You know, if people respect me, they respect me. If they don't, they don't. Um, but yeah, uh, recognition. From the team, like yeah, I went to you know I went to France, I went to London, uh, where else? I went to Cyprus, and everybody was talking about the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, from the from fans around the world, that that, that was big. You know, I think like nobody knew about Milwaukee Bucks before the championship. Uh, so that that was fun. You know, that was fun that then you know knew that we were the NBA champ. But you know, around you know around the league, it, it doesn't really matter. It's about what what we what we're gonna do. You know, we love one another. We enjoy playing with one another. So we're just gonna keep it up and focus on ourselves. Uh, I got one more too. I will be around a little bit, following around this on? year too. Yep. You What's your name, me? Jamal? Jamal, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, I, I want to ask you one thing about that the finals, the game six performance. Obviously, you kind of had stats across the board, filled the stat sheet, but that seventeen and nineteen on the free throws. Whew, anything? Was big, huh? Anything about that that you picked up that you can carry for? What 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 was the deal there? What happened? So what was was seventy for nineteen? That's like what eighty nine percent? I'm good at math. Ninety 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 one percent something. Like that. Man, I I wish. Hey, man, life be good if I if I could do that moving forward. Uh, but yeah, I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to put pressure on myself. Um, but no, I want to get better. You know, in that area too, I want to make free throws. I have to make free throws. In order for us to win that game, we, I had to make free throws. You know, and there's going to be a lot of uh, big games that I have to, you know, make free throws. So I have to get better in that area. And hopefully, if I could take one thing from that game, it was probably that. And I, th I think the, the block shot, block shot, like I was chasing everything, you know. Uh, so yeah, just being defensively even more active than. I'm usually, and so, um, you know, because you, when you play a lot of minutes, you try to pick and choose and, you know, get in passing lanes and get deflections and just be smart in, you know, the way you use your body and the way you, you use your energy. But in that, you know, in that game, I did not care. I think I, th I think I have to go back to that kind of mentality. Just don't care. Just chase everything. I might get in more foul, foul troubles, though, you know, like the previous years. But um, those are the two things I probably, you know, hope. Um, that um, can carry over to this year. To this year, sorry. Yanis, can you talk a little bit about the new addition to your family? You have two little ones now. Are you changing more diapers? Is it man-to-man -man coverage? How are you and Mariah juggling all this? It's exactly what you said. Before it was, we were playing zone, you know, <laughs> zone defense. So it was me and Mariah, and uh, we had Liam in the middle, and he was we were just. Uh, you know, taking uh, turns, but now it's man to man. Uh, it's it's tough, uh, but I I, I enjoy it. Um, I I love it. Um, I'm definitely changing more diapers. Uh, those those <laughs> those are the tough uh, days. Um, more, uh, but yeah, I'm changing more diapers. But I, I I enjoy it. I hope we can have more kids. I want to have a lot of kids. I want somebody to spend my money and steal my money. I don't know. How I should say it because I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty cheap. But for my family, I do. I do everything. So, I want to. Uh, I want to have a lot of kids. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was the championship, and it was me being a father. It was. It was a amazing summer. Yeah, it's coming off of, of the Brewers, and it kind of seems like you're trying not to jinx them. I don't think you realize, I know you don't like the titles or the comparisons, I don't think you realize, now that you're a minority owner, if they win the World Series, you would also get a ring. So if you had an MLB ring and an NBA ring, would that make you better than Michael Jordan? Because his MLB career never panned out quite as well. And the MLB ring? <laughs> and the NBA championship ring? 
Oh man, that that would be nice. I'm not going to jinx them. I went to a game they play well, one. So I just wish them the best. They just got to focus on themselves, keep playing uh, well, uh, and I wish them nothing from the best. But it'd be nice if I get another link. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's here in front. Um, a little bit of roster turnover. Uh, obviously, some new additions, and I know. If, uh, so can you speak a little bit about Shemi? I know you, you, <laughs> the two of you have uh, gone at each other a little bit on the court. What was your first maybe interactions with him like? I don't know if Greece was the first time you got to like spend time with him aside from? Hey, you know, you know, when uh, you know, I heard he was coming to the team, I was like, no way, not that guy. You no, know, I'm joking, but uh, um, no, I'm, I'm happy. I think he's going to help us a lot. Um, very down-to-earth guy. You know, great guy to have around. Seems like you know a happy guy, um, guy that's willing to do whatever it takes to you know help the team win. And that's what he did for for Boston. That's what we need him to do here. You know, he can uh, he can defend from one through five. He can make shots. Um, it's gonna be good for us. It's gonna be really good for us. And you know, I had um, a little bit of time to uh, spend with him in uh, in Greece. Uh, yeah, as I said, great guy. Um, in the immediate aftermath of Game Six, you were up there and you said how addictive the feeling was. Oh yeah. And I'm just curious how that maybe manifested a little bit here this off season, and then Bud's message this morning of do it again, and just sort of what that. That's what uh, Coach Bud said. That's what Chris said. What Coach said this morning. Again. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not reading. I'm learning from you guys. You know. Um, yeah, it's 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 a definitely a addictive feeling, um, and not. Like not necessarily the the championship, you know, the the the, the uh, for me it was playing the playoffs, you know, the fans, and maybe because we didn't ever we didn't have fans before that, maybe that's why it was even more the feeling was great. But you know, playing the playoffs, playing the finals, right, uh, in a stage that I've never been before, uh, and but after that, like the feeling that I want to repeat is the feeling after. We know that we won when you see everybody smiling, everybody's hugging one another, everybody's crying. You know, that's that's an incredible feeling, you know. And then, then, then that carries over to to the parade, you know, seeing 200,000 people, you know, uh, in the parade. Maybe more, I don't know, maybe less, sorry. If, uh, and everybody was happy. It didn't matter where you were from. If you were from the uh, 27th Street or you were from uh, the suburbs of River Hills, I don't know this area very, very well, but or from Mequon, from whatever, from Brookfield, it did not matter. You know, everybody was there, everybody was cheering, everybody was having fun. You, you know, and that's the feeling that, you know, man, like by me playing hard and the team playing hard, we gave it all these people, you know, this this joy, right? Can we do it again? Right now. Now the steps to it. Now we we'll go back to the basketball part. The steps to it is not easy. If we expect that we're going to play the same level of basketball this year and we're going to be able to win a championship, no, I don't think so. Then you know they they're waiting for us. Uh, they ex you know as I said they're expecting us to. They know who we are. You know now. So so we have to get better. You know we have to get better, and hopefully we we can get ourselves in a position to win a championship step by step, and hopefully we can give that feeling. Again, to be maybe not might not be this year. Maybe it might be in two years, maybe three years down. But like, I need that feeling, you know. And you know, I'm, I'm going to chase that feeling until I my legs can't move no more. Uh, we'll go to Zoom. Kane Pittman. Kane Pittman. Hey, uh, hey how you Kane, doing? Kane, where, where are yeah. you in Australia? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to get back. It's hard to get back, man. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, vi uh, visas, visa regulation and stuff. Huh? They're not letting yeah, you back yeah. in the country. <laughs> Can you help me out? Hey, don't worry. I, I, I'll write a letter. I'm writing a letter right now. Please, the U.S. government, please. Kate Pittman is a big part of what we do here and who we are. Please let him in the country. <laughs> that should do it. I'll be back next week. Um, <laughs> okay, good. My, my, question, my question for you is, is about, um, from a basketball point of view, fear of, fear of failure. And I, and I mean that in, it, as being a pretty human reaction that you would be scared of, of of failing and and you spoke about it a lot last year about the growth that you had and when I think about the playoff run and and trailing 2-0 twice uh having the knee injury that you had the free throws that you already spoke about being able to overcome all those obstacles how do you return 
to this NBA season? Does it give you more confidence than ever that there's no mountain that's going to be too hard for you to, to climb from a basketball sense this season? What does is, what is winning the championship do? No, um, there's always going to be obstacles. You know, there's... You know, throughout throughout you know your career and throughout this season. So, but I, you know, I cannot predict the future. I don't know what they're going to be. But uh, you know, control what you can control. You know, I control my preparation. Uh, um, am I you know my own mindset? Um, but I'm 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 going to be ready. The championship doesn't really help you to be to be ready. You know, for the it kind of it does the exact opposite because once you win a championship, you kind of relax. You know, so. Uh, I want to keep getting better. Obviously, in the in the past, you know, thinking you're not good enough. I feel like all the you know all the NBA players that before they won a the championship, everybody had that feeling. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to lead the team to you know uh, to win a championship. You know, uh, but you know that, that that's over with. You know, uh, we did it, and and hopefully we can do the you know take the right steps and do it again. Uh, now, now, always your mind creates new challenges, uh, and, and I want to be better. I want to be better than last year. Uh, I'm ready for any obstacles. Uh, I hope I'm ready. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for anything that uh, comes my way. Um, but yeah, the championship doesn't help. The championship does the exact opposite. It relaxes you. Uh, just a couple more, David. Hi, Yanis. This is Davide from Italy. Uh, good to see you, good even see you. not in person. Um, you, you said about getting better. Um, how do you plan to do it, and how do you plan your team to get better? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Tomorrow is the first practice. We, we're going we're gonna to figure it out. You know? um, we're going to see what the game plan is. Uh, how if, if we're going to change stuff, we're going to add stuff. Uh, Tomorrow is you know, uh, going to be the first practice, but you know, I'm, there, I'm there to listen. You know, so I'm going to listen and we'll see. You know, we're going, we're going to try to figure it out as a team. Okay, last question. Our studies? Hello, greetings from Greece. Hello, Janice. So, uh, I saw, uh, in the finals, we saw uh, your determination, your great determination, your motivation. Which uh, social advice is fantastic in the MD help you to have this... Uh, uh, things and to win the championship. Yeah, can you can you repeat the last part of the question? You say which advice from who? Which lessons or advices helped you to have uh, the, this determination and this motivation? Which lesson and advice helping to have this? That's the question. That's yeah. The qu yes. Uh, that might de determination. Okay. Um, it was. Uh, I think it was kind of. It was life. I'm um, just you know just seeing seeing my my parents, you know you know working every day um, nonstop uh, providing for us, uh, and no matter how they feel, you know happy, sad, or tired, or you know they they, they didn't they didn't stop. So you know why would I st you know stop? That's kind of the the mindset I have, um, and I'm going to keep having. Hopefully you know I can I can. My kids can see that, and they can do the same thing. No matter what uh, comes your way, you're going to try to find a way to, you know, to overcome it. You know, uh, obviously, there was there was was a very, I don't remember what night, uh, what day it was, but uh, that night was a very, very cold night for me. Uh, you know, not not knowing what tomorrow is going, what they're going to say, but, uh, but I knew whatever they said, uh, I'll, I'll, f I'll figure it out, you know, I'll, that's, that's what I always do, that's what my parents did, you know, I'll figure it out and I'm ready to work, you know, I'm ready to work towards uh, whatever the next, you know, goal, plan comes my way, so, so um, you know, I, I don't know anybody, nobody gave me advice, I think I just, I saw it, you know, first time from my parents, just seeing my parents working hard. Thank you, Yanis. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 don't, don't zoom out, don't zoom out. <laughs> Make sure you guys get your Zoom Freak 3, okay? Ah, there you go. Close us. Hey. <laughs>